Having the 97G Sentinel gives you a lot of spatial volume. When you have the crowd reacting, you can tell that they're looking at something physical. They're all, all everyone's focused on the same thing. You're also getting all the reflections off of all the plastic. People can stand in front of it or behind it, walk around it, they can interact with it. Things that you couldn't do if you just had a, a green stick there kind of thing and telling people, imagine what's here. There's one scene where Beast jumps up and tries to disable a sentinel by ripping its wires out of its neck. We shoot it practically. We've got a stunt guy, full Beast makeup jumping onto a giant green robot shape that's on a gimbal, thrusting back and forth, and he's being thrown off by wires. They were very primitive, relatively speaking. What Mystique offers in her DNA is that they can take her powers, take the essence of her power, and incorporate it into the Sentinels. Both sides want to find Mystique. One side wants to protect her DNA to save the mutants, and the other side wants to take her DNA to destroy the mutants. Her genes could hold the key to mutation itself. Imagine sentinels that could transform, adapt to any target. Trask steals Mystique's genetic code, and he uses her genetics to basically make giant versions of her, what she's capable of doing, because he sees her as this perfect species. And if he can somehow steal her abilities, the sentinels will work. A lot of people in the different X-Men incarnations have wanted to use the Sentinels. It's such a huge part of X-Men lore. A Sentinel is an enormous robotic weapon that seeks out and destroys mutants. There have been so many robot movies. The difficulty of doing it is being original, because it has to feel very familiar to the fans that have read the comic. The thing that we have that I don't believe any other movie's ever done is shown two incarnations technologically of what a robot looks like in the past and what a robot could potentially look like in the future. Brian wanted to stay as true as we could to the Sentinels as we've done them through history. The first thing I did was I put together a book that showed what the Sentinel looked like in the first time you saw him and then each year. And in the comic form, they work beautifully, but a lot of them kind of look like 1950s wrestlers to us.